Hello Thor fans welcome here. Gore the God Butcher is said to be assaulting new Asgard according to a new brief for Thor Love and Thunder. Christian Bale will make his MCU debut in the next Taika Waititi film. But this time, instead of portraying the hero like he did in DC's The Dark Knight trilogy, he's bringing Gore to life. Despite the fact that Thor Love and Thunder is barely three months away from entering theaters, plot specifics are still scarce. Marvel Studios has also failed to reveal any official marketing materials for the film, leaving fans eagerly anticipating their first look. Fortunately, as the film's release date approaches, tie-in memorabilia for Thor Love and Thunder has begun to appear on store shelves, giving fans a sense of what to anticipate from the film. Apart from the outfits, the current batch of Marvel Legends series toys has a brief concept for the endeavor. A photograph of the back of a Valkyrie figurine, which features a short for Thor Love and Thunder, courtesy of Thor Foster. It indicates that new Asgard will be attacked by a terrible intruder, jeopardizing the welfare of its inhabitants. Valkyrie is forced to re-suit in order to defend the Asgardians. The dangerous new guest isn't mentioned in the Thor Love and Thunder trailer, but Gore the God Butcher is a fair bet. After all, he is the story's verified evil guy. It's also understandable that his appearance serves as the catalyst for Thor to return to New Asgard. After Thanos was defeated in Avengers Endgame, viewers will recall that the God of Thunder eventually realized to himself that he didn't want to be king. Instead, he handed the mantle over to Valkyrie and accompanied the Guardians of the Galaxy on their mission. Given this, something needs to entice him back to New Asgard, and Gore the God Butcher's threat may be that something. Bale apparently worked on some late reshoots for Thor Love and Thunder a few weeks ago. It's unclear if this is why Marvel Studios has yet to produce a trailer for the film. In any case, Kevin Feige can get away with minimal advertising for the film, given how popular the God of Thunder is, as well as audience's confidence in Waititi after what he accomplished in Thor Ragnarok. Still, it would be fantastic if they began marketing the film to the wider public right now. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.